we are from account division. In this video, we are going to see how many groups are there and how many items are present in each group and how to find the total number of items present with few examples. Now, first example is how many in each group. Okay, so there are 10 butterflies. See here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 10 butterflies. 5 plus 5, 10 butterflies. So, how many groups are there? 2 groups. 2 groups and totally 10 butterflies. So, the question is, there are dash butterflies in each group. There are dash butterflies in each group. You have to find how many butterflies are in one group. So, we have totally 10 butterflies in two groups. So, in one group, there are 10 divided by 2. That is 5 butterflies. Okay, 5 butterfly in one group. Next, 5 butterfly in the other group. So, 5 plus 5 is 10. So, there are 5 butterflies in each group. Each means one group. Okay. So, next, we will see next example. How many in each group? There are dash caterpillars. Now, let's count the number of caterpillars first. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So, there are 21 caterpillars. Okay, there are in dash group. They are in how many groups? This is one group. This is second group. This is third group. So, they are in three groups. So, totally 21 caterpillars and they are in three groups. Now, our next question is, there are dash caterpillars in each group. So, how many caterpillars are there in each group? So, totally 21 caterpillars and they are in three groups. So, 21 divided by 3 is 7. So, there are 7 caterpillars in each group. Next, how many in each group? There are dash laddus. I think you all like this, right? So, we will count it now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, there are 12 laddus. They are in dash group. So, this is one group. This is second group. This is third group. This is fourth group. So, there are four groups. Okay, there are 12 laddus and they are in four groups. So, there are dash laddus in each group. So, one group has how many laddus? Totally 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So, totally 12 laddus and we have four groups. So, 12 divided by 4, that is there are three laddus in each group. Next, how many in each group? Draw 18 stars put them into two equal groups, okay? So, there are stars in each group. You have to find how many stars in each group. So, what is given? Draw 18 stars, put them into two equal groups, okay? So, you have to draw 18 and you have to put it into two equal groups. So, now, guys, see, I have drawn, divided it into two groups. This is first group and this is second group, okay? So, totally you have to have 18 stars. Now, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, I have put 18 stars in two groups. Okay, but we have to put it in equal groups. Okay, so there are dash stars in each group. So, 18 stars, two groups. So, how will you find how many stars to be put in one group and how many stars to be put in the other group? You want the number of stars in both the groups to be equal. So, the way to find it is division is 18 divided by 2. So, you will get 9. So, now let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, in the second group, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, two groups have 9 stars. So, there are 9 stars in each group. How many in each group? So, draw 18 beads, put them into three equal groups. So, first we have drawn 18 stars and we have put it into two equal groups. Here they have given 18 beads and we have to put it into three equal groups. Okay. So, there are 18 beads and we have to put it into three equal groups. So, 18 divided by 3 is 6. So, each group will have 6 beads. See, let's count 1, 2, 
Okay, so totally there are six beads in three groups. So totally we should have 18 beads, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So totally we have 18 beads. So 18 beads, if you put it into three equal groups, then there are six beads in each group. Next is a very interesting example. It's about birds and grains. How they are sharing the grains with their young ones. Okay, now let's read what is given. Mummy bird brings 12 grains. So this is the mummy bird. It brings 12 grains. How to distribute equally? How will it distribute all these grains equally to their young ones? So there are how many baby birds? 1, 2, 3, 4. So there are 4 baby birds it has. So it has to give the 12 grains equally to all the 4 birds. Okay. So to distribute the grains equally, mummy bird needs to give 3 grains to each bird. Okay. So this grain 3 bird, second one third, 3 grains, 3 grains, 3 grains. Now let us see how it is sharing. Okay. Mummy bird starts giving one grain to each baby. First it grows one grain. One, one, one. Then what it does? Okay. So now the mummy bird gives one more grain to each baby. Then it takes the second grain and it gives to this baby. Then next second grain to this. Second grain to the third baby. And second grain to the fourth baby. So now each baby has got two grains. So now how many grains will be left with the mummy beard? Okay, so it has given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So out of 12 grains, it has given 8 grains. So how many grains will be left with the mummy bird? Yes, so 12 minus 8. So 4 grains will be left with the mummy bird. Now she puts one more grain in each baby's mouth. So, all the grains are finished. She is having 4 grains, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, now she has given 1 grain to each baby and all the grains are finished. So, now totally the mummy bird has brought 12 grains and it has equally divided the grains among 4 baby birds. So, each baby bird has got 3 grains. So, we can easily count it by 12, the total grains divided by 4, the total number of babies. So, each baby will get three grains. Hope you have understood how to find how much is divided equally among all the other things and also how to find number of items in each group. Thank you for watching the video.